Hi, everybody. This is Jackie Bryan, registered nurse, whole health educator, functional nutritionist, and health coach. I hope you're all doing well and taking good care of yourself during this really challenging time for us. I thought I'd uh, share with you another video. This is the fifth video in the series that I've been putting together for the coronavirus pandemic. And it's really focused on making sure that you keep your immune system strong. So it's that whole theory of putting the oxygen mask on yourself first so that you're in better shape and condition to take care of another person. Today we're focusing in on stress. <laughs> it's a very appropriate topic for, uh, especially this time. And, and what you might not realize is, is stress can be perceived as really anything. It can be inclement weather, really strong emotions, even happy emotions, things like a wedding. I'm sure there's a whole host of people that are really stressed about their special days coming up because we don't know what the, what the social distancing guidelines are going to be like. But what we do know is that stress is anything that requires our body to adapt. And we all respond very differently to stress. We, we have the fight, flight, and freeze response. And I'm gonna take a second just to share with you a little bit about the fight, flight response, and then give you some tips to help you respond to stress rather than react to stress, which can be really helpful. And it's kind of difficult um, unless you practice it when you're not stressed. So what I'd like you to do is try to find a way to build in some uh, stress management technique each and every day to help you work towards the goal of making it a part of your everyday life. When we experience short-term stress, you know, this is us driving down the road and somebody cuts us off and we go, <gasps> and in that millisecond when we, when we go, <gasps> So many physiological changes are happening in your body. Your pupils dilate, your heart rate it goes faster, your lungs expand, your blood actually clots quicker, anticipating the possibility of some injury. Your digestion slows down. All of those things actually happen in a millisecond. And it's largely because of the hormones that are secreted by our adrenal gland. And this is actually a picture of your, this is your kidney. I have lots of body parts in my office. Um, but this is a, a kidney, and this is a cross section of the kidney. And on top of it is the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is the gland that is a part of your endocrine system that secretes the hormones necessary to respond to stress in our body. This is the epinephrine norepinephrine, cortisol, cortisone, all of those that help us respond to stress in different ways. But what ends up happening is if we are stressed out all the time and we don't take the time to recover from this fight or flight or freeze response, we end up exhausting many of our um, adrenal gland functions and it makes it that we can't respond to stress in the same way. And that leads us down this slippery road of chronic stress. And so many of us now are dealing with chronic stress because we've been weeks in isolation, we're worried about finances, we're worried about our loved ones getting sick. There's so many different things that are causing us to go from this acute phase of stress into a chronic phase. So what I wanted to do is take a moment to just share with you some ideas for you to take and put stress at the top of your priority list. Not that I want you to be stressed all the time, but building in some sort of a stress management technique that can help you support the adrenal gland um, and the function of your hormones in your body to help you stay balanced during this challenging time. So the first couple of videos, we focused on a proper nutrition, a whole food diet. That's critical in supporting your adrenal glands because one of the, the main stressors on our body is lack of sleep. So finding ways to get um, sleep in. And if you're interested in some tips on that, you can go back and look at some of my videos. The second is um, making sure we're getting the whole foods, the fruits, the vegetables, especially vitamin C and essential fats. Those are um, important nutrients to help support the adrenal glands to help you um, create the hormones and build the hormones that are going to help your body respond to the stress. So basically, you're giving your body everything it needs to be able to support you. And then building in some fun into your day, which that might seem challenging, but there's been some, some people that I've been watching on YouTube that have really been sharing some, some funny jokes and things like that that are, that are bringing joy to people's day. And that just that lightheartedness can help. It's almost like a, a relief valve so that it takes the pressure out of your body. 
So our goal is to help you release stress. And there's many ways that you can do it. Number one, and the one that I use is exercise. Exercise is a great way. When you start feeling that anxiety building up, just go out for a walk, a run, um, some sort of an activity to just let the steam out. Dance, listen to music, go in the woods and connect with nature. This is so therapeutic to get into um, the woods and try to um, connect with nature in a way that, that just relaxes and calms you. Um, cooking, that's something that is um, really helpful. If you, if you like to cook, I've, I've been spending a lot of energy focusing on these wholesome, really healthy whole food meals deep breathing and even meditating. There's some apps like Headspace that are offering some free meditation um, services for people during this pandemic, which is so wonderful. Um, I talked for a second about feeling joyful. Uh, you know, my father is uh, far away from me. I haven't seen him in, in weeks because of the, the isolation, but he's a, he's a funny little Irishman. <laughs> And he keeps sending me these really funny jokes. And every day I just have a belly laugh over some of the stuff he's sending it. Some of the stuff I can't even share because it's pretty naughty. He's a naughty little Irishman. But it, it just, that, that burst of laughter releases all these healthful chemicals in my body and hopefully your body. So find some things on YouTube if you can to bring some joy. And lastly, when you wake up in the morning, before you put your feet on the ground, take a deep breath in bed and take a moment to feel gratitude, grateful for what you have. Reframe some situations that, that seem really difficult. Like my son is supposed to be graduating from high school in a few weeks and I'm just devastated, it makes me cry, but I'm just devastated that he's missing so many of these really special events. But I will say, that I'm so incredibly grateful that I have this time with him and also with my daughter who's graduating fourth grade and going to middle school next year, just to have the opportunity to be with the kids. Now, you know, they drive you crazy at sometimes, but these are such special moments and we're doing our best to have some fun ping pong tournaments or um, sit down family dinners, bike rides, um, enjoying this time together. So take a moment and feel gratitude for some of these things that you have in your life, um, that is gonna help with this stress response. It's gonna help the, the release valve um, and it's gonna take the pressure down in the body and overall, it's gonna support your immune system because what we do know is it's stress will, long-term stress will erode the immune system and it will make you more vulnerable to disease. And this is especially, we don't want this during this really important time. So I'm Jackie Bryan. If you like this video, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please write me at email me at JackieBryan.com. I'm here for you. I care for you. And, and I'd be happy to help in any way that you need me. Have a great day and take care. Be safe and be well.